Hi everyone, today we're going to see how test modes Jira integration can be used, what type of entities can be connected between Testmo and Jira, and how they are shown in Jira. I'm assuming that you already have a connection set up and that you have at least one Jira project mapped to a Testmo project and you can see and learn more about those steps on the documentation linked below. In Testmo, you can link uh, seven different objects to Jira issues. They are milestones, test cases, test runs, test results, sessions, session results, and automation comments. To make this easier, and because the interface is very similar between some of these, I'm going to show you one example of each of the different interfaces. In this case, milestones, test cases, test runs, and sessions are very similar. We can start with a milestone and a, as an example. We are here in the Space Shuttle project that we have, one of our demo projects that you can load up on a trial instance. And I'm going to open here the payload assembly milestone, and I'm going to edit it. As you can see, there's an issues field on the edit page of that milestone, as it will appear also in test cases, test runs and sessions edit windows. And you can simply click add, select your linked account in Jira, and just input the ID of your Jira issue. In this case, it will be TT1. I will add and save the milestone. You can see that it appears here already as a linked issue. If I click on it, it will load a preview from Jira and I can easily with a single click open a Jira window with the details of this milestone. In this case, you can also see on the issues tab that the issue linked from the milestone appears here. And of course, during some tests, I've already connected before some other issues to test results and they are appearing here also in the resume of the milestone. Next, we are going to look at test results and session results as they have similar interfaces also. Uh, so we can go to a run, any run that we have here. Let's go to this simulation of flight path algorithm, run and select any untested test case. For example, evaluate emergency communications trigger and let's add a result to it, okay? In this case, I'm going to say that it has failed and I'm going to create a bug for it. So on the first step, it's failed. I won't test anything else. And I wasn't able to open mission control interface. So let's click add again. But instead of inputting a new uh, a issue ID, we're going to create a new issue. It will pop up a new window for us to create on Jira directly the bug that we want, in this case a bug. Let's put a summary, cannot open mission control interface, we can put a parent, I'm going to add this to the milestone, in this case the epic that is connected to that milestone. I'm going to just create the same description and create as an example. As you see, it closed the pop-up window and it already assigned and copied the issue ID directly to the issue IDs field. We click add, add result, and you can say it's failed here. And if we go here, we can see that there is a new result that is failed with a link to the Jira that we've just created. In the issues tab of the run, we can see that during this test, we found this issue connected to this test case and in this case this run was already linked to another issue on the run level while in sessions this would be basically the same thing just an example you would click on issues and click add and the same overall ui appears and you can just do the same process last but not least Let's go over to the automation comments. When you have your automated run results sent to Testmo, you can go here and see the overall status. Let's go to these failed tests specifically and use this as, as an example. We can see that 
it has failed and we should now on the comments be able to click add as an issue and we can create another issue here let's create a new issue again it will pop up a new uh, window let's put it as a task as we run automated tests on our payload assembly we run automated tests and create as you can see it's the next id since the last one that i've created we click add let's rerun these automated tests add and it created a comment and linked this issue to the test case and again, if you go to the issues tab, you can see everything here. If we go again to the milestone, as you can see, it will have an overview of all the issues that have been found during testing. As you can see, the one that I've added in the tests case, it appears here also. On the Jira side, you can see that there's the test mode widget and it will have uh, the information where this is linked from in this case is from automated runs or this case but if i refresh to show the latest ones you can see that this bug was opened from a test result this task was open from an automation run comment uh, we can go to the epic and see that this epic was linked from milestones and a quick overview of the progress of that milestone so you can link multiple objects to the same Jira issue. Each one will have their own section and it will enable you to see always a quick overview of what's happening. And when you click on it, it will take you directly to that object in Testmo. I hope this helped you understand how uh, the integration works and how to use it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate send us a message to our support team and if you like this video subscribe to our channel as we'll post uh, as we'll continue to post more videos about Tesmo. and of course feel feel free to comment if you have any questions comments that you want to share with us on the comments below i hope you have a great day and happy testing